Yep. Alright. Here we go again. Video number three of the night, because I'm making it semi-work at the moment. And I'm going to keep rolling with it while I got it semi-working. So, today we're going to be doing the Chas Keda Shrine. Which, while I thought might be a survivor type island, that's further down in the map. We're not there yet. This is, however, a major test of strength. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Alex, you said major test of strength. We can't do that yet. Then I realized how effective the bomb arrow method worked last time. And I thought to myself, I says self, maybe we can replicate that for a major test of strength. Maybe we can just cheese this one and get the orb. So, I'm going to try it. You know, I don't know if it's going to work. I might die, but that's okay. These things do happen. And if I die, I won't save this recording. I'll upload it so it's there. And I'll edit it in to the recording I do when I finally get back to it. If I die. So, if you're seeing this, it went well. If you're not seeing this part and you're just seeing angry flashbacks, it didn't go well. But here we are in the middle of the Nakluta Sea. Uh, Tanoko Island, you know, just way out here, you know, you got this shrine right here. But if you go to the Lashlo Harbor and the Katano Bay and you look around this area, you're going to find a raft. Inevitably, you will find a raft. And you're just going to take a Korok leaf and blow some wind into that raft, and it's going to sail you all the way out here. I mean, I found it by this shrine, or I glided. I don't remember which. I doubt I glided, because that's a distance. I could have, though. You never know. Pretty sure I sailed in. So without further ado... No! No, I hit that. <sighs> I've been playing a lot of the woman recently. And she likes Xbox games. Which I don't play a lot of Xbox games. For good reason. But, um... Controls are different, you all know they're different, and they're messing me up right now. I gotta get reused to these controls. I think B is A and A is B, and sometimes I crouch randomly when I mean to run. I don't know why. I just, that's just, why well, I wish these games would agree on a common set of controls, and honestly, they're all similar but very different at the same time. Different enough to mess you up. So let's just go in, I'm there now, we're gonna go in, we're gonna bomb arrow the crap out of this, and we're gonna see if we can cheese it, you know, we might succeed, we might lose, if I recall, when I did this the first time, in normal mode, you couldn't kill the boss with arrows, you had to do a parry shield at the end of it, which I don't remember if that's the case, I'll be real, I could have been wrong then, I just remember thinking that, well, we're going to put it to the test today, and I got my bomb arrows equipped. I got 102 of them going into this. I have my double attack boost still going for a minute here. Literally a minute, 51 seconds until we got left. I got more food, though. It'll give me another attack boost. So we're just going to shoot the crap out of this and pray for the best. Promising. Run. Run, you fool. Okay, we got about halfway right now, party people. I say that's pretty good progress. He's dodging the weaver, though. He's pretty good. He knows what's coming. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Okay. All that is going to do is charge, attack. Oh, you got my stamina down. You got my stamina down. Oh, no, you're faster than me. No, 
run out of pillars to hide behind for when that stamina attack comes up. Oh, you're doing it now, aren't you? Nope. Okay. Okay, hello food. Do I have a potion of strength by chance? This isn't food, this is materials. Do I have something for strength? I have an elixir of toughness. I've got two foods of strength, but I kind of want to hold off till I get knocked down some health here. Um, I got some energizing stuff. I'll take the elixir. Give me more stamina. Oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. I'm putting my shield up, because I know you shoot consecutively. Oh, this is what I was talking about. I'm gonna have to parry him. <laughs> Come on, please let me parry. Oh, please let me parry. Please let me parry. I parry So you have to parry him. That's fine. This might be good practice for me because I have been, I've been, I've been having a hard time with parrying in master mode. I feel like the timing's a little bit different. It might not be. I don't know. But this is probably really good for me to be forced to practice this. We got 50 seconds again to do some massive damage. Bomb arrows. And when he starts that laser stuff, I know he's going to shoot consecutively. I know that's when I gotta get him. So we're gonna go back into this and we're just gonna try this again. Oh, you. It's a bit high. The way I'm shooting. Me. You're blowing up all my pillars. Hi. What you doing? It's okay. I can't really do something for nothing right now anyway. Should I get some guardian arrows? So I use them for all these because I hate these, I hate these fights. But, looks like it takes about 70, not 70, about 30 or so, 40, to get to that point where he starts doing that attack. Where was the laser attack? It was here last time. So apparently guys, if you just spam it and don't give him a chance to laser, or I guess sometimes he chooses not to laser. Maybe I glitched it out. I don't know. But it worked. I cheesed him with bomb arrows. And I got the rest of the climbing gear. I now have a full climbing gear set, I believe. Let me just... How do I sort this? Why? Okay. No, no. Sort by set. I now have the full climbing gear set. Which means you now have the full climbing gear set. Which means we can traverse the lands of Hyrule a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, hit comment, subscribe, all that noise. Bell for future notifications. It's all cameras here. Thinking it's over here for some reason. It's all through here somewhere. Just, you know. Y'all have a wonderful evening. And I hope to see you in the next video.